I'm going to teach you how to install any mod for Schedule 1. This works whether you want to change the stack size for items, move around the map faster, or reshade the game to make it look completely different. After this video, you'll know how to add anything you want into the game. Starting off, we're going to head over to Nexus Mods and choose which mods we want to install. You can either search for this on Google or click the link in the description to get there faster. As of recording, there's 38 mods and only a few of these are updated and functional. This tutorial, however, will remain accurate throughout the future. So don't worry if you're watching this down the road. Just follow these steps for your chosen mod and it's all gonna be the same. We're gonna scroll down and sort the mods by most recently updated. This will eliminate any mods that were made for the free sample and prioritize mods that are the most up to date. For many of these mods, we're gonna need something called Melon Loader. You can also search for this on Google or just click the link in the description to get there now. Once there, click Get Started and where it says Automated Installation, we want to install the latest for Windows. You'll see it appear in the top right under Downloads, so just go ahead and run that program to install the Mod Loader. You'll see a list of your games, so now select Schedule 1, leave everything else default and install. Close that out and return to Nexus Mods. Now we can install the actual mod. Head over to the Files page and select Manual Download on the most recent file. You'll need to quickly sign up for Nexus Mods if you haven't, and then you can download the mod. You'll see the download in the top right again, so go ahead and click on this button Show in Folder. That'll pop it up in your Downloads page. The mod is compressed in a zipped file, and all you need to do is right click the folder and select Extract All. Leave everything default and click Extract. Once that's done, we need to now move this mod into our game files. The easiest way to find the game directory is by going onto Steam. Find Schedule 1 in your library, right click on it, and go to Properties, Installed Files, and here on the right, click Browse. That'll bring up your game directory. So go ahead, move the directory next to the window of the downloaded mod. Since we downloaded Melon Loader, now we have a mods folder that we can access. Double click to open that folder, and now drag and drop the nastymelon.dll into that mod folder. And that's it! Now we're going to quickly jump in game just to test that everything's working. When you launch, you'll see Melon Loader doing its thing. And now that we're in, we can go ahead and press F11 and boom, we have a full mod menu. To control the menu, press escape to get the cursor on screen. Now you can change your movement speed, see NPCs through the map, spawn any item in the game, and most importantly, change the stack size in your inventory. So now you can carry more than 20 plastic baggies at once. Next, we're going to do the same thing to add a mod manager into the game. Head back to Nexus Mods, select the mod manager, download the file, extract, install the mod into the game's mod folder, and voila! Now from the home page, you'll be able to enable or disable any mods you choose to add. If you'd like to change the way that the game looks, I'll teach you how to add a reshader that is completely customizable. I will warn you though, the reshader says it may lower performance by about 10 FPS, so if you're already struggling to run the game, this may not be the best thing to add. So, if you're still interested, head back to Nexus Mods, select this cracked out reshade that we're going to use today. However, it's not going to be installed the same as the last mod, so don't get too jumpy. Any mods that end with .dll can be added to the game's mod folder, but for this we're going to need one extra step. Click on Requirements, and you'll see that we need something called Reshade. This button will link to the download page, so head over there and click on Download Reshade at the top. Once it's downloaded, run the program to install it. Scroll through your games and select Schedule 1. Next, we're going to be using DirectX 10, 11, 12, so go ahead and click Next. Now here, we're going to leave everything default. If you'd like to look more into all of these, feel free, but we're perfectly just fine with the two. Click Finish, and now we're done with that. Head back over to Nexus Mods, click Files, Manual Download. When it's done, we're going to need to extract the file, but this time, however, it was sent as a RAR file, which means you're going to need something like 7-zip or WinRAR to extract it. This is very simple though, so don't worry. Search for 7-zip or head down to the description to find it. At the top of their website, click on the first option. If you want to double check your computer version, you can search for Info, click on System Information, and you'll find your system type there. Now, head back to the downloaded file, right click it, 7-zip, and click Extract Files. Go ahead and open up the extracted folder. Here, we can see that this one is not a DLL file, 
so we're not going to be putting it in the mods folder. Instead, we can head back to the mods folder if you're still there and just go back one page to the main game directory. If you've already closed that mods folder, don't worry. Just go back to Steam and use the method we used earlier to find your game directory. To install this reshade preset, we want to copy and paste the file rather than dragging and dropping. So right click the file, copy, and then right click in any of the empty space of the game directory and paste it there. The reason that we're copy pasting and not drag dropping is that in this case, if we ever need to revert back to the original presets, we'll always have an original copy to overwrite the settings. And that's it. Now we're done with the hard part. I'm going to jump in game and just show you how the reshader works. On the first launch, you'll have the option to go through a tutorial, which I do recommend. I've already done that, so I'm going to move on. Now we can have some fun with the shader. By pressing the home key, that'll pull up the menu. We want to enable the preset that we downloaded, so head to the top where it says reshade preset. Click on this big box here and scroll down to cracked out 1.2. All we downloaded was a preset for this shader, so it'll enable these two features here, Vibrance and Tone Map, while setting specific settings on them. You can go in and alter each of these settings to your own liking. By enabling and disabling these effects, we can see the big difference with and without them. There's also a ton of different filters and effects, so just play around with them and have some fun. This reshade preset really shines at night, so if you're into the darker vibes and having more of a challenge at night, this one might be the one for you. I hope that this video was helpful. Check out some of my other Schedule 1 content right here.